Hello, and welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. My name is Kendra, and I am up here with my buddies Terry and Matt, and we are just about to check out ARMS. But first, Terry is going to introduce some special guests we have up here today. <laughs> you got it, yeah. yeah. So we have Yabuki-san, and we yes. have Ishikawa-san, and we have Rob for translations. We have some special guests here to help talk about ARMS today and go mm. dive deeper into the game of ARMS. As you may notice that there are some uh, wiring on these Joy-Con. Uh, this is just for development uh, production, but um, let's get right into it. So, you know, we, we have Yabuki-san here, we have Ishikawa-san here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the world <laughs> of ARMS. So, I think Ishikawa-san and Yabuki-san are here, so let's talk about ARMS and the world of ARMS and the concept of ARMS. So, let's talk about the concept of ARMS and the concept of ARMS. Well, you know, I really just came here to fight, so I think I'd like to talk about it while fighting. Nice. All right, so I guess I should probably hand the controllers off to Yabuki-san. Yes. So this name, what oh. is that? Oh. 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 This oh. might not work really well. well, well How about Ishiko? Can't fight in the gloves. Can't fight in the gloves. He can't can't fight in the gloves. <laughs> so Ishikawa-san will have to hold them for a bit. There you go. All right. Nice. All right. Now we're gonna get into it. So let's get let's get this started. So can we hear a little bit of the world of arms, a little bit of the background of the game? So as a Ishikawa-san, I can tell you a little bit. Well, arms in the world is what kind of world is it? Generally, yes. Ah, I think it's a little bit like the world we live in, a little bit more in the future. So it's kind of uh, the near future as compared to the world we're living in. And it's a world where obviously there are people who have this kind of stretchy arms ability. <laughs> Here we go. That we can really ready for this battle yet. <laughs> so, so we're looking at all these different characters. We got Kid Cobra and we also have uh, uh, Bite Mark. Uh, Ishikawa -san, let, let's talk about uh, Kid Cobra for a second. キットコブラはあの腕がヘビのモチーフになっている、まあヘビ人間みたいなそういう感じのキャラクターですね。So uh, Kid Cobra, he's kind of he's kind of a, a snake man. His arms are snakes, and he himself is sort of a snake as well. えっとか顔をフルフェイスで覆ってるんでちょっと謎めいた感じのキャラクターになってます。Mm. And you know his entire face is covered by uh, that helmet he's wearing, so he's 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 kind of a mysterious guy. Very mysterious. Yeah, mysterious so, indeed. And um, I noticed too that he has two different colored eyes, and I'm curious about the design decision behind that. Ah, like, me, like, you know, like, like, two different, like, 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 different, about Snake uh -huh. Man. <laughs> Interesting. So, so, so fan, the fans will have to wait. I'm still in shock. So, as we're moving around too, let's talk about uh, Bite and Bark and his right. special unique ability. Eh, so this is a little bit of Bite and Bark. Let's talk about Bite and Bark. Yes, Bite and Bark is a lot of other characters who have the power of arms and the power of human beings. It's a robot. So Bite and Bark, they're kind of a, you know, obviously kind of a unique combination. Obviously, they are a combo for one thing, but also, you know, he's a robot that was kind of created to fight against, you know, humans who have this stretchy arm ability. <laughs> so, you know, he fights with this, this robot dog partner, which seems like it should be against the rules, but it gets overlooked for some reason. And if you notice, so you can actually, the dog is just, just matched up, or they, they meshed up together with for the rush attack. Ah, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yes, it's a good thing. He gets right on the head there, yeah. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Mr. Hiroki, what again? Yeah, obviously you don't want to jump on people's dogs' heads all the time. Ah, fighter, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, so we'll switch fighters. So, all right, we're going to show more. Oh, we're, we're gonna, you guys are switching it up? Switching okay. it up. Yeah, yeah. Right. Plus, now we're going to Cobra Kid's level, right. which is a really fun level. Can we talk a little bit about that level? So, this is a little snake park. Yes. This is a 
So this is a, a stage where you, you get on these uh, kind of mysterious uh, looking objects called uh, uh, snake boards and, and fight while you're riding on those. So this is kind of like kind of a street style area of this game. Obviously, like you know, uh, uh, Kid Cobra, he's kind of a he's kind of a street style guy, kind of like the version of a skater for this world. So that represents that element of this place. Oh, that's awesome! Street yeah. Cobra. Street Very cobra. much looks like a yes. like an urban rooftop <laughs> skate park with super cool skateboards. Right on our freeway as well. I know. I hope somebody makes those skateboards someday. Yeah. We on, everyone on staff is really into this level. I definitely noticed the level itself too. It's, it's very unique compared to other levels. You actually are right on these tops and you know it makes the game a little bit quicker. It makes it harder to dodge um, or yeah, easier to dodge. Uh, and there's just so much that you can do that's different from when compared to other levels. Yeah, I think it's pretty impactful just because even the gameplay is kind of different on this stage yeah. compared to the others. Let's, uh, let's look at the arms that they're, uh, they're using right now. So it looks like, oh, round one goes yeah. to. Matt's got a tall order here. He is playing against the developers, and they obviously know what they're doing. You're holding your own, Matt. I'm great. <laughs> so let's go into Bite and Bark's uh, uh, arms here. So on that right there, he's got a, a homing type arm that can actually it'll track your opponent's movements and home in on. And so on the left there, he's got what kind of looks like a party favor. It's called the Cracker, but it also has this fire attribute, so it might look like a party thing, but it's, it's pretty dangerous. Gotcha. I noticed that um, Kid Kuroba's got his special oh. just waiting in the wings. Kid Kuroba's got his yeah. Oh, is, is it time for Yabuki to bring the pain? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm so glad I got all that. Matt felt the heat. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's talk about uh, Kid Kilbra's arms while we're at it. Oh, uh, so is that. I want that. I want that. So on that left, just to talk about Kid Cobra's arms a little bit, he's got that uh, left hand uh, the kind of vertical, yeah. the uh, vertical uh, mm -hmm. three mm -hmm. three pong attack. Nice. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, yep, so yeah. that was <laughs> Mr. Yabuki yeah. winning twice in a row. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> sir. You did. All right, we're going to change players. I think Mr. Ishikawa is going to play a bit. And we're going to change characters. So we got some characters going on here. Love we got Helix. Twin Tail and yeah. Helix. Helix is so amazing. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. And the gloves have passed into to new hands <laughs> once again. Mr. Yabuki has the gloves back on. Musical gloves. <laughs> So let's get into the, the, the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. And that's like a really good like offensive defensive move because you you're able to counter your opponent by having them attack you, but dodging it, slowing their punch down, and then you counter right away. Yeah, she's really good for you know you slow down an enemy attack and then bring that counter right in. 
I think we also noticed too that Twin Tail is the only character that's not using her arms. She's mm -hmm. actually using her hair mm. as her weapon. Twin Tail が唯一の腕を使わないキャラですね。うん、髪を使ってます。そうなんです。あのアームズ能力っていうのは腕だけじゃなくて髪の毛にも出ることがある。<laughs> So, you know, it's just the fact that the arms ability doesn't always show up in your arms. Sometimes it shows up in your hair. Uh, <laughs> good point. Good I wish point. my hair could do that. <laughs> Josh, good game. With, with Helix's win, I think we, we should move on and talk about Helix and about uh, his, his yeah, definitely. style. Helix is going to be cut. 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 So, Helix is really unique just because of the fact that this kind of body, like, stretch, as you can see there, it stretches and expands up and down. And he's probably the hardest character to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like he has some very unique uh, skill sets, but it also seems very rewarding if you figure out how to utilize those at the right times. Oh, yeah. まあ確かに扱うのが難しいだろうけど、なんかマスターしたらすごい価値があるキャラですね。そうですね。あのヒリクスを使いこなせたら、もう尊敬を集めると思いますね。Yeah. I, if, if you can master Helix, I think I think he'll be respected. By, by <laughs> 強いですね。So for players looking for a challenge, they should focus on their Helix play. Oh, do I get my first one? Oh. 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 Wow. Good job, Matt. Uh, this right. makes perfect, right? Uh, this yeah. is it. All right. All right, so final round. <laughs> final round. This is it. Final round. Uh oh, he seeks revenge now. Oh no, he's got two. <laughs> so let's look at look, look at the techniques of the arms here that we're looking or uh, seeing here. Um, so Twin Tail is using her uh, Procell and also her Chilla. あ、ちょっとそのツインテールが今使っているアームズについて話しましょうか。ツインテールは今左手にあの氷のパンツですね。右手にパラソルつけてます。そういや、she's got that that、um, that freezing punch on the left and then the parasol on the right there。凍らせて傘で突き刺すっていうまあ非常に怖い組み合わせですね。It's a pretty scary combination, you know. She can freeze you with that left and then stab you with the right. Oh yeah. And Earlier, we had the、uh, yellow sphere that they were standing in front of, and that helps to fill up their、um, special gauge.、Uh, so it's obviously smart to get in there when you can. Oh, that was <laughs> <cool> . <laughs> There it is. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> <Damn. laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> nice. Yabuki was cut, but Ishikawa was won. So, as we see, Mr. Yabuki won, and Mr. Ishikawa lost. <laughs> All right. Let's change. Let's change. Switching fighters. So we're gonna we have to do、uh, the, the, the glove, glove swap again. So at this point, we had shown <laughs> two of the, the four of the newer characters at Twintel, by Bark,、uh, Kid Cobra, Helix. So there are characters that we've we've shown before, but now we're gonna show them live here today and have them duke it out as well. So we've got Spring Man and Min Min. So let's just well, Spring Man and Min Min. Until now, we've seen the characters. How about some ramen bowl? Ramen, ramen bowl. That sounds tasty. Yeah, okay. okay. Let's do it. I am pretty hungry. <laughs> so, what is the story behind Spring Man? Yeah, Spring Man. The story is what? Yes. 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 So he's kind of he's kind of the embodiment of arms, you know. He's he's the representative. He's kind of the mascot character, and his his arms are made of springs. But he was, ですね、あの非常に熱血的で、で人懐っこいところがあります。で、ただ負けず嫌いなので、最後のゲージが四分の一になると、あの腹痛を発生してパワーアップします。And he's, no, he's a really passionate fighter. He's kind of a gym rat, and he also hates to lose, which kind of connects to a, one of the abilities he has, which is when、um, his gauge gets below, his life gauge gets below a quarter,、um, <laughs> he gets perma charged. His arms are just permanently charged.、Right. Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's a great addition for our Spring Man, especially when you get down to a little bit of your health, you, you get a little pickup, and、Definitely. then everything is charged, you do more damage than you could before. That's a great ability. It also feels cool, personally you relatable, you know? You feel backed into a corner and then you just get like, ah! The, like, so this, like, send it out, like, 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 like,
And just a minute okay. ago, we had the green ring, and that refills the health. So, a lot going on on screen. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt getting annihilated once again. By Abu wow. san this time. It's so tough. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let, let's look at that uh, Min Min story. And what, what, what's her background story? Min Min is the stage of the So she's, uh, she's kind of the, uh, the, uh, the prize daughter of uh, a ramen shop that's actually located here at this this ramen bowl where you're fighting. And you know, as you can probably guess and see, her arms are made of this kind of stretchy ramen. Mm. And then you can see, you know, on top of her hair, she's got these these kind of like ramen noodle-like strands of hair and then uh, this knit this knit beanie that looks like an upturned ramen bowl as well. Love it. And I, I one of my favorite weapons in the game right now is definitely the dragon, which is one of Min Min's main uh, arms. Uh, it definitely has really good range. It has that nice little blast, the delay blast that keeps the opponent moving. Mm. ま、ミニガッツ勝てるそのドラゴンですけど、すごいなんかえ、後半にでなんか攻撃できる。シュイスフトロールいや、シュア。または細かくなられますので、はい、気に入ってます。そうですね。あの、左腕がですね、チャ
あちょっとレボンガール今使ってるアームについてお願いしましょうはい、うん左手今スパーキーですね。雷のパンチ。あ、そう、あの、left she's got、uh, the sparky which is a, a lightning punch。右手は。この、ムチのようにしなる。and then on the right she's got the、uh, kind of whip like、uh, slap a m a n d e r yeah the slap a m a n d e r I love how it just like it swings around the,、mm. uh, the opponent、mm-hmm. so you don't see it coming until it comes from the left or right. until it's right not, in your face. yeah it's not a direct <laughs> shot。ボキカーブするから、なんか。読めないです。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、どうぞ。はい、次は誰にしますか It's, it's the, the heavy arms, right? We got Master Mummy, Master Mummy. and then also Mechanica. Okay. Ah, so, Master Mummy. Yeah, we'll switch again. We're going to switch again. Ishikawa san's going to stick around. What they're doing is they're wearing you down, Matt. That,、yeah. That's what they're trying to do.、Oh, I'm already pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to fight hard to the end. Matt got tired. Yeah, so one of, one of my favorite characters is definitely、uh, Mechanica. Mechanica, yeah. She can definitely take、uh, punches, but also all of her, her movesets are actually very, very aggressive and, and, and it's all on the offense.、Um, we'll, we'll see it when we get into this match here. It is hard、uh, to choose a favorite because they're all so oh, unique. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 10体のキャラクターたちなんですけどなるべくその違いが出るように意識して作りました、mm. So you know there's 10 characters but we work really hard to make sure that they're all very you know, unique and different from each other They definitely are awesome できるだけこういろんなキャラクターを使ってもらうとこのゲームの深みもより分かってくると思います And I think, you know, if people playing it, if they try out all of the different characters, they'll understand more and more how deep the gameplay is.、Oh, yeah. and so let, let's, let's look at、uh, Mechanica's play style, her fighting technique. So her arms and her style of. She float, she's pretty floaty. Mechanica is pretty floaty. So, for Mechanica, because you know, as you said, she has that hover ability,、uh, you should just use that a lot. Stay hovering and try and attack from the air as much as possible. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. That was close. That was a really close match. <laughs> yeah, very close. So, now, because of the victory of Master Mummy, let's transition to Master Mummy. Let's, tell, let's,、uh, let's find out a little bit more about Master Mummy. So, Master Mummy is how you can show it. Master Mummy is powerful, and it's not a mind, it's a mind. パンチ、パンチ、パンチ、パンチでどんどん押していくタイプのキャラクターです。So、マスター・マミーズ・キャラクターで、ユーザーキープ・ムーヴィング・フォーダー、ジューパンチ、パンチ、パンチ、パンチ、ジューキープ・カムン・ウィズ・パンチ。And、マスター・マミー・ドゥ・ハブ・エイ・ユニカ・ビリティ、ウェア・ウォン・イ・ガーディング、エクシー・リフィルズ・エッジ・ピー。で、ガードしながら回復できますよね。そうですね。小さな魂が彼を回復させているように見えますか。あ、oh, the victory for Master Mummy。勝ちました。いや、いがみだ。So we saw that card. So we saw a lot of the fighting.、Uh, let's, let's show a couple of the different modes that we have in, in the game as well. Yeah. じゃあ結構楽しいモードに移りましょうか。So the first mode we're going to show off will be the basketball mode. Hoop is what we call it. And let's、uh, let's go into the, the the details or the little specs about、uh, this feature, the bas- hoops. バスケはどのようなモード。えっと、バスケはこう投げの練習になるような、えー、ゲームを作ろうと思って、えー、用意しました。Uh, so, this basketball、uh, hoops, you know, we kind of created it as a way to、uh, you know, have something that people could practice throwing. まあ、ただのプラクティスではなくて、敵をリングに放り込むという、まあ、非常にクレイジーなゲームです。So rather than make it, you know, just simply practice, we made it this kind of crazy game where you try to pick up your opponent and throw them through a basketball hoop. I love it. <laughs> so you're taking your opponent and you're going to dunk them in the basketball hoop. So <laughs> isn't it? Just like that. Obviously, don't do this in real life. I don't know if they dunk shoot. 
So I do notice that in this game, there are two points and there's three points. So if you're inside the arch, it's mm. only two points. And then also when you're outside the arch, it's three points. Mm. Mm -hmm. Three point line mo. <laughs> yep, it looks right at uh, where your feet are actually to determine whether it's a, a two or a three pointer, where your feet were at the last moment. And I really like this mode a lot. It's just the fact that you're playing arms, it's the same kind of style of you're fighting against an opponent, but the, the trick is really you're grabbing them and you're trying to counter them and throw them into the hoop to score and get the best for the, the well, first of 10 points. Yeah, so definitely a good stage to practice grabbing and throwing and kind of perfecting that technique. As you notice right here too, once you finish and you land a rush attack, oh. you will bounce your opponent off of the turnbuckle into oh. the basketball hoop. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, nice. It's a close game. Oh, there it is. Yep. Got dunked. Ishikawa for the win. Even yeah, so let's let's go on to the next mode. So we're gonna do uh, volleyball this time mm -hmm. and show off volleyball. the difference of this one. So basketball is a lot about grabbing and you know counting your opponent, but then in volleyball it's really about setting up your hit and setting up that for the spike. Um, so you can you can use one hand to hit the ball, but if you use both your hands and you hit the ball at the same time, it'll actually set the ball up, and then the next hit you go for, you can spike it. And you, there's a lot more mm -hmm. jumping involved in this mode. Mm -hmm. I feel like if volleyball was like this in real life, I would actually play it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's arms volleyball. Oh, oh nice volleyball. block. So as you can see here, it's really you're countering your opponent's ball by getting, keeping it on their side. Mm -hmm. After a certain amount of time, that, that volleyball will pop, oh, no, no. basically. <laughs> nope. Of course, this doesn't happen in real life, but you know this, this is part of the arms segment. <laughs> <laughs><笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
the wide range of the different things that you can do mm -hmm. so that you can practice, which is awesome. All right, Good well, game. nice job, Matt. Yeah, I think you got game. one. Uh, yeah, I did get one. <laughs> this, this, will, this will make you Out of stronger. How many, how many matches? I, I don't want to count. OK, we won't count. Much you've much been, a, you've been a really great sport. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's been a lot of fun. I love playing with these guys. Cool, awesome. Well, thank you so much for playing and for being yeah, a part of this, nice. answering all of our many, many questions. Um, that was it for ARMS. That's about all we have time for. Uh, thank you, Matt for subjecting yourself to that, <laughs> playing against the developers. That was awesome. Um, so up next, we have Super Mario Odyssey. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching ARMS. Bye. Bye.